We have the best drivers in the United States right here at New Smyrna Speedway. The track is a little slicked up from the rain. We gave them the option for us to rain tonight out. Not one person wanted to end this show tonight. They wanted to race so they could put a show on for you. Jags. Shop jags.speedwayvideo.org to support the channel with equipment purchases at no additional cost to you. Get discounts and shipping deals site-wide on what you need today using jags.speedwayvideo.org. Due to the treacherous conditions out on the racetrack, normally we start the field in the middle of turns three and four. Tonight we're going to start them on the front straightaway, and that's to make sure everybody's going straight when they throw the green. Here they come into the start box. Field stacks together through turns one and two, but they tiptoe and make it through. Colin Allman has led since the drop of the green flag. Battle for fifth. Watson with a good turn over three. He put the power down on turn number four. Gavin Graham with the momentum. Able to hold off the spot. Watson looking out on the inside. Maybe a little contact in one. Looks like that car getting looser and looser as the run goes. Oh, Brad May and Bobby Good with some contact over in turn number one. Battling with Brian Finney here for position. Car number 37, the National Roofing sponsored ride with a runoff to number two for the lead down the back straightaway. Allman gets loose and here comes Goddard into three. Can Goddard make it work on the bottom of the racetrack? He's right in the thick of the weepers. Turns it sideways and makes the pass. What a move. Schofield pushes up the racetrack. Here comes Gavin Graham. Graham having a good run tonight in car number 70. Upside down here in January. Now body slam Schofield that comes back and here comes Watson with a big move. Almost contact on the back straight away. Schofield not happy and pushes Graham around. And look out, Brad May going to go around. Jeff Schofield just absolutely pushed Gavin Graham into turn number three. And Graham is in trouble. And there will be a call on the 07. Schofield to the back of the pack along with Brad May and Gavin Graham. Gavin Graham able to pull away. We'll see how bad the damage is. Webster down on the bottom, trying to make up some spots. Oh, man, looking to get tied off turn number two. Allman stacks up the field. Good heads up driving by everybody to get through there. And by the way, if you're wondering, Brad May, yes, he spun, but he was not the cause of the caution. Got his spot back. Webster is sideways. Here comes Timothy Watson, 28. Watson in the 28 to the outside. Webster up the track. Watson on the binders, stacking up, and Schofield's getting back in the mix. Closing in on a quarter distance in this 100-lap contest. It's been a wild one so far. Colin Allman, Brad May, Daniel Webster, Timothy Watson, still your top five. Michael Goddard still searching for new smarts. Six laps to go for Goddard this time by six to go. And there goes Colin Allman into the outside wall. Michael Goddard, the dominant car of the day, did not want to see that yellow flag. Good, clean start down the front stretch and into turn one. Michael Goddard gets away with the lead. Webster slides up into second. Brian Finney and Brad May battle for third. Dog fight for second. Brad May gets a run. Webster gets loose. Here comes May for second. Now can open the door for Brian Finney in the 80. May goes up the track. Webster gets into him. Here comes Brian Finney on the top of the racetrack. Daniel Webster cuts Brad May a break, I think, in turns three and four that time. Off of corner number four for the first time in his late model career. He's a winner. New Smyrna Michael Goddard gets the win. Brad May is second. Brian Finney rounds out the podium. It's a huge confidence booster. I mean, I'm here a lot. I'm usually just working on the cars instead of driving. It was a curveball with the weepers. You know, I didn't really know what to adjust or what to expect, but... Uh, it all worked out. My goal was to try to stick on them through one and two and try to see if I had anything for them. I don't know that I did. They were really getting through three and four better than us, I think. But my anniversary's coming up Tuesday, 20 year. Got to thank my wife for that. We lost the brakes about 45 laps in. There's no front brake left, so I was just doing what I could. I really look forward to after the Governor's Cup when they repave this place, because it's dangerous racing down there like that. Green flag is out. And David Russell. The mini stock champion getting a bumper from Spears as he goes way up the track. Look at this for the lead. Whoa, oh my goodness. Gage, Spears, David Russell, and more. The mini stock champion getting a bumper from Spears as he goes way up the track. Look at this for the lead. Whoa, oh my goodness and Justin's gonna pull over there gage I can see him moving around 
Here comes George Spears over to check on his son. George parked his car down on the bottom of the racetrack, runs over, and I see Gage's bread and orange helmet. Looks like he's out of the car on the back straightaway. Oh, my goodness. Hate to see that on lap number one. Oh, kind of a wild start there for Spears. Spears in the 23, trying to hold off the five. And for the lead, here's Paul Kochi off to number two. Spears out of shape again in two. Side by side for the lead in turn number three. 99, Kochi going to take the top spot here from Bobby Holly off turn number four. New leader as we come to halfway. Whoa, trouble. Bobby Holly and Blake Clouser in a shower of sparks. Whoa. Trouble, Bobby Hall and Blake Clouser in a shower of sparks. There it is, folks. Uh-oh, big trouble off turn number two. Final time into turn number three. Paul Kochi sees the five closing in. Clouser dirt tracks it off the corner. Not going to be enough. Paul Kochi takes the win ahead of Blake Clouser. Bobby Hawley still gets third. Those are speed league tires that I want in the 50 lap run. Oh, hey, you, you, made your, you made his point. I just let him know that I was upset because I drove under him all the way to his door down there, and he came down, and then same thing down there, but I was actually to his left front tire, and we ended up wheel hopping. I'll take the responsibility, but 26 down there, I had a right front flat. I, I, had, I had nowhere to go. Jared Corpy gets the jump, and look at LeBeau to the outside of Jeffrey White. Dylan LeBeau in car number 16 with a great start, and they got to find that clean air. Look at what Jeffrey White. Through the weepers and goes in sideways. Jeffrey White following LeBeau up around the weepers in one and two. Cuts it low off the exit of the corner. This time, Jeffrey White. Is he clear? No, he's not. LeBeau going to fight back on the outside. Jeffrey White up the racetrack is clear. A little bumper tag, but Jeffrey White back into the second spot now. Corpy up the track, bottoms out again. White slides it down. Corpy cuts him off. They almost came together. It'll be 19 laps complete. Six to go and up the track. Corpy. Oh, and they come together. Our new leader, Jeffrey White. Goodbye. Just waited till my mark, and it was there. And uh, then we got together a little bit, but hopefully it wasn't too, nothing too crazy. I think we both were sideways passing each other, so it's kind of cool. If you want to bet on second place in EMOS, we're a sure ringer here lately. Put a lot of effort in this, and we want to win, but, you know, still can't be too mad at a podium. This is Rick Gaither. He's going to go out there and race. Crank the tank button on the loud pedal and we're underway. Tony Brown with, oh no, Frank's got trouble. Crank the tank with trouble. I don't know if he missed the shift or what. Frank the tank from the pole to the outhouse. Frank Button brings it to pit road. Got his first win in February after a disqualification. Wants to win one on track so bad. Thought tonight was going to be his night, and it's all for naught. Watch the 58, the little Mustang. Boy, he hooked the bottom, and oh, Rick trying to cut him off. Look at the run Rick Gaither gets going down these straightaways, man. That thing. Oh, Ben Say. Ben Say has been a thriller to watch tonight. Say up onto the podium from dead last on the field with no yellow flags. Battle for fourth. Rick Gaither down on the inside. Hyman. Black car. Oh, William Hyman. I think he caught the crossover gate. What a showcase for the Bomber B side. Oh, trouble for Mike Dom in the 56. He's hit the wall off turn number four. Checkers are set to fly. Tony Bromley is going to get the win. I don't know what was going on behind me, but that was great, man. I uh, did some minor changes to the car over the break. And uh, we got a, got some few things right. I'd like to thank my dad, as always, fans in the stands, Speedway video. Uh, I forgot to thank Shane Satoris and Pizza Man Racing when I won. I was just too excited. But Shane's helped us a lot with the setup on this thing and appreciate everything everyone's done helping us out. I mean, I want to beat him, of course, but it is exciting to see him up there. Here we go. Green flag is out for the 602. Oh, no, and Chris Hatton Sr. does not get a good start in the 09. And we'll see what old Chris Jr. can do in the 04. Three wide down the back straightaway as they split Kurt Hatton. For the 09, the machine, that's been the flagship car for the Hattons. Good battle for the lead. Three cars under a blanket off turn four. So they continue down into turn number one. Battle for the lead is a good one. Tony Pereira in car number seven. For the lead, hat to the inside of Pereira. A little bit of contact as they slam nerf bars in turn number three. 
Side by side down the front, drag race to the line. Hatton out in front by another car that time. Whoa, they swap lanes, bumper tag. Lap car dead ahead, Kurt Hatton gonna hold up your leader. Look at Pereira gonna go to the bottom of the racetrack. Kurt Hatton gonna hold up Chris Hatton. Tony Pereira gonna take advantage. Just like that, it changes again. Here we go. Final time into turn number three. Hatton up the racetrack, Pereira on the bottom. Here we go, to the line, drag race. It's Pereira by a half a car length. Around the lap car and everything. Thank you very much, thanks for all you guys. Speedway video, I can't wait to watch that video, man. You guys do an awesome job. Look at this. <laughs> I got a trophy, my first trophy. I almost had him, I almost got lucky again. No, he, he did a really good race. That track down low is so wet tonight. I don't know if you guys can see from the stands, there's like puddles, so it's just, you can't be aggressive on the inside, so it's really hard to pass with these 602s. They got no power. Definitely off tonight, just couldn't get it together for this race, but we'll be there next time. We hope to see you next weekend for our Mother's Day special. Moms, you get in for free. Get here before 10. Dad, you get in for 10 bucks. You know, our goal is to give the customer what they want, when they want it, at the price they want to pay, and then follow it up with just the absolute best customer service. You can find the same part at 100 different places, but if you find it for less, we're going to match it, and we're going to guarantee it. We're going to ship the product same day. We are all about the customer, period. And when you have a question, the associate you're talking to, he's got a car in his garage that he's working on. So when you're talking to Jags, you're talking right to the shop.